Welcome to the review show. My name's Austin, and episode three of The Mandalorian season three is out on Disney Plus right now. If you guys don't know, if you guys are new of the ch new to the channel or you guys are just joining in for the series, um, these will contain spoilers like The Last of Us series that I just did and just finished. Be expecting a season review on that soon as well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of your warning. Um, but let's get into the episode. I really enjoyed this episode. I think this is a step up from the previous two. I found the other previous two not written well too short finally we get a longer episode this is like 53 minutes long technically it's less if you think about it because if you take out the opening and you take out the ending it's around like 35 minutes ish um maybe a little bit more than that so it you kind of give it a little leeway because the episode starts out really great you get this great action uh, action sequence um, where um, it involves dog fighting and um, Mando being smart and all and finally being smart when it comes to certain things um, because but even this episode kind of makes Mando look dumb like they confirm like oh yeah I didn't <laughs> I didn't know it was that deep I'm like oh, so dumb like you could at least have maybe something break off under him and next that's how he fell but you know if he wasn't say it, if, if you know um, both the, both the can of how you say your name is wasn't there this season would be over so this is like that's that would be the end of that um but yeah so i enjoyed the opening but then this uh, but then the whole entire episode comes to a slow halt like it li like it literally slows down and i wasn't really expecting it at first i was like can we get back to mando <laughs> like this is this this is called mandalorian not the not the Doctor, book of the doctor, or now it's not like I hated it. I was just, it was it just caught me off guard, and I wasn't really expecting it because it you uh, you open up with this like great action sequences, and I was like, all right, great, we're getting into it. I'm so excited now, and that just has to wait, which is fine because I enjoy stuff like Andor, and this reminds me a lot of Andor type of stuff where they take a whole entire episode to break everything down i just didn't expect to get to this type of episode so soon like this is an episode that feels like a mid finale season type of episode and and this is only episode three. i don't know how many episodes there are gonna be i'm pretty sure there's only nine episodes i think there's only gonna be nine um so it feels like we're suddenly already here when we still have stuff with mandalorian to get through really did enjoy it um it, it took a little bit to like let me like we are to process like okay just you know forget about that cool opening sequence let's see what they have to tell us and it was gr and it's basically setting up and i hope that this uh the mandalorian isn't the turning into where it's like the clone wars where it tries to fix like the pre like we're, like you know like where the clone wars was like the show that fixed the prequels i mean it's yeah, the prequels were kind of bad, but when you add the knowledge of the Clone Wars, it does fix the prequel, uh, the prequels pretty well. And I hope that they're not using the main doing. And I saw, I saw it in the previous season, and I'm like, I hope that this isn't what this is, and it's and it's turning into a show where it's gonna connect to the sequels and explain why <laughs> Emperor Palpatine is back, um, because this is definitely an episode with the Doctor who has the knowledge to bring um, Emperor Palpatine back or has the cape or 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 some form setting up because this girl basically gaslights this dude into helping him and I'm, and I'm still confused on where she is it's not very clear on where she's at I don't know if she's still part of the new empire or she's like getting rid of this guy to cut off loose ends but then still be able to do um, things behind the scene. So I don't know if she's a spy for the New Republic or she was, or she's a spy spy, or she is a spy for the New Republic, but she's actually a spy for the Empire type of deal. So it's very confusing on that end because it, it, even she turns up the crank even more on the Doctor, which is the, it's later on in the episode, but her, I don't know what, we'll have to wait until see what she does later on in the season. See, that's the thing. It's hard to, rate each um it's hard to see it as a whole until you see all the episodes so i'm kind of just going based off my perspective on this episode that it's not very clear on what her goal is we'll, we'll figure it out later on in the next pro in the next uh, couple episodes but 
Here, I feel like they could have maybe dropped a little bit more to, figure, to give a little bit more clear what she is doing. So if we go to the course throughout this whole entire episode, that's where this episode kind of takes place and we kind of pick up where, where the doctor is, where, you know, um, the New Republic is taking people from the Empire, like, you know, like, they're clearly not Nazis, but, the, but they are uh, something that, um, after, like, you know, World War II, we, where we took in Nazis and we, you know, used them and helped them, uh, and, like, help, and have them, like, help us all grow, I guess, in some form. And so that's what they're kind of doing, and it's kind of interesting to see that what, what they're doing with it, and, like, they're treating this Dr. Bape, they're trying to be nice to the doctor, but they're also kind of treating him like shit um, by giving him a terrible job, basically, and not using his like knowledge to everything. Um, I guess they they're afraid if they if he if they let him do if they let him like do the knowledge that he knows, it might lead to some chaos. Um, but you know, it's a very it was a very interesting battle because it's like you see like because you have like this doctor and this um, girl that I keep she's from the previous season. But I don't remember her at all. Like I li literally don't remember her. Um, I guess she's just that. I guess a forgettable character or something. Um, but like it seems like they're having this bond. But you're kind of going back and forth. It's like I don't. What is your goal here? Because the episode starts out with Tide Fighters um, chasing um, Mando and uh, both um, both Tan. Um, and it's like, is this going to connect in some form or any way? And I mean, it could still be. I, it just didn't really, it never really connected back and forth, but it's, I think it's just because both can stole one of their ships, so they're kind of like pissed off that you stole their ship or something on those lines, because that was a line in there. But yeah, it was cool to see like where was Coruscant at this time, because um, we never really spent time with Coruscant af after what happened uh, with the Empire at all. Like Coruscant was kind of like that one planet that just kind of disappeared. <laughs> From all of the sh like from all the movies and shows uh, until uh, Andor is like the first one that where it came back, um, so that it was kind of cool to see where that was and like uh, how like people were living. So you see this doctor talking to this girl that he knows for, that worked for uh, Moff Gideon, and um, basically she's like kind of like you know trying to make it like trying to convince him like hey maybe you should continue your research and continue your research. And so, um, and it was like okay, and he finally kind of breaks. He kind of was like, I don't know about this. I don't know if we really should. And so, eventually, he does. They kind of um, leave their designated area, uh, and actually kind of break into the Star Destroyer, which was really cool to see up close. I love those things. The Star Destroyers are like one of my favorite ships throughout the whole entire like Star Wars universe. Like they're they're honestly really cool. And so. They break in, they get the stuff that they need, they get out, they get caught, and this is kind of where you realize the twist, like, oh, it was a trick all along type of deal. But it's like, is she, but she's not, a, is she a spy spy? Again, like, I don't know what her motive is. It was very off-putting. It's like, oh, so they used her to see if the doctor would, you know, cave in on, like, maybe trick still doing his work or no or or is she doing this so that she knows the knowledge to do what the needs to be done and have a different doctor that isn't discussed you, you see where i mean like it's very confusing on what her motive is and so i'm trying not to base off it like because i don't know the information just yet we'll pretty sure get into that but the doctor the thing is about the doctor he shows up every once in a while in the season like he may i think he has one or two episode appearance every season. And it's like kind of hard um, not to be worried like this won't come back later on it's until the next season. And it's cause it's like, we never, we don't like, this is not really a vocal point throughout the whole entire season. Maybe this is a season where it mostly all of it comes together, but it just seems like they are constantly trying to set this up and they kind of just forget about it and it doesn't come back into inter interplay until the next season. And it's, just, I don't know. I enjoyed the episode. I'm still a little hesitant about s season three because of the previous episodes. Um, the episode ends with Mando being finally, being part back part of the clan. Also, both pan since she basically jumped into the water as well. 
um, to save him, so they see her as um, worthy as well to be part uh, Man uh, Mandalorian. Um, and it was a, it was a cool, it was, it's a good episode. It's a it's a good episode. It's a decent episode. And I enjoyed it, and I like that the, it was like a character type of episode where it built up to something. It's nice setup. I just wasn't really expecting it to be on this episode just yet. I was, if anything, I expected it to be episode four or five. But yeah, I guess we're gonna get Moff Gideon very s more soon here than two. Um, because I'm pretty sure, I think he, I think it's been confirmed that he's still going to be the villain of this season. I'm going to give Mandalorian Episode 3 a B-. minus. I did enjoy it a little bit more than the previous two. Um, but if you're going off like Mandalorian scales, like, it's still like a, sort of a downer type of episode compared to the previous episodes that we have seen of the Mandalorian. Um, but still a great episode. It's going in the right direction. I appreciate it a little bit more. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought of the episode down below. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.